As a country, we've made tremendous progress. India today has over 400 million internet users. And at 400 million users, we are by far the second largest internet country in the world. Right? The US with about 300 million users now is quite a distant third. So you have China, India, and the US. Not only do we have 400 million internet users, we have over 300 million Indians who access the internet on smartphones. And that's remarkable, because six years ago when I actually joined Google, we had less than 10 million active Indian smartphone users, right? So we've gone from pretty much 10 million, less than 10 million users to 300 million users. Not only has the ecosystem grown in terms of users, over the last eight to 10 months, we've seen a dramatic change in the connectivity infrastructure. You know, I used, to, I used to sort of coin India as the world's largest slow internet nation. And just in a period of eight or 10 months, we've actually made this transition from slow speeds to high speeds. And today, I think all of you would agree that our connectivity infrastructure is remarkably better than where we were even eight or 10 months ago. This incredible pace of growth, this very large user base spending enormous amounts of time online creates significant opportunity for Indian consumers, where today, whether it's finding information, learning English, learning about just about anything that you want or communicating, Indian consumers have benefited enormously. And so have Indian businesses. And today you'll hear uh, about how Indian businesses have benefited in many, many different ways by getting themselves online. And finally, I think every single player in the ecosystem has, has benefited in very significant ways. Standing here, we couldn't be more excited about the future prospects of India, India as a country and the economic prospects that we have, about our people, and especially about the technology sector in India. Small and medium businesses will be the key drivers of India's economic growth. In fact, if you look at where we stand today, small and medium businesses account for 37% of India's GDP and employ 120 million people. So these are very big numbers. And as exciting as the long-term prospects are, it is important to understand what digital and digital platforms can do to small and medium businesses, and as a result, what that would mean for the Indian economy over the next three, four, five years. At Google, our mission in India is very simple. Internet for every Indian. A connected India with access to the whole web will help businesses grow, will empower our consumers, and will benefit the entire Indian economy. At Google, we've been very focused on getting the next billion users online. The way, we, we, the way we view our mission is really very simple. We want to make sure that every single Indian has access to the internet. Over the last several years, we've developed a very deep understanding of the challenges and the barriers that prevent every Indian from getting online. And we've systematically launched initiatives to address every single one of those barriers. Starting with connectivity, I'm sure many of you have heard or read about, and I'm hoping at least some of you have experienced, the initiative we have to provide public high-speed Wi-Fi in India's railway stations. It's a tremendous partnership. It's with the Indian railways. Within the first 12 months, which was at the beginning of this year, we crossed 120 stations, and we are well on our way to get 400 stations equipped with the world's fastest high-speed Wi-Fi network. So whether it's access or whether it's getting women in rural India online, we have an initiative called Internet Sati, which is a very, very exciting initiative where we go village by village and help women in rural India get online. We're already at 60,000 villages. We have 18,000 full-time Internet Sathis, and we've trained millions of women in rural India. And over the next several years, next two years really, we plan to get to at least 300,000 villages in India. We've also really been very focused on local languages. In India, as all of you know, only 200 million Indians are proficient in English. Most of India does not really speak or understand English. 
So we've been very focused on making the internet work in every single Indian language. I'm, hope, I'm hoping that many of you now use your Android phone in your local languages. On the business side, we've been investing heavily in helping small businesses as well as startups leverage the power of digital, leverage the power of our own platforms as well as build a digital presence. And through that, we've seen a large number of companies significantly accelerate their growth and also improve their profitability. Here in Telangana, we just entered a MOU with the government where we're going to work together on a number of very exciting initiatives at the state. In fact, on Friday, um, I'm, I'm hoping that at least some of you covered that. We announced the major tenets of the MOU that we've signed with the government of Telangana. Promoting digital literacy among rural women in Telangana through our Internet Sati program is one of the very, very important pillars of the MOU. Our commitment is to make sure that every single woman in every village in Telangana gets online, experiences the internet, and through the course of that, will be able to improve their lives. Telangana, over the last two or three years, has become quite a shining star when it comes to the Indian startup sector. And at Google, we have a number of programs where we start work with startups very, very deeply. One of them is the Google Cloud Credits program, where we give very significant credit grants cloud credit grants to startups. So we partnered with the state government for, for startups from the state to actually give them very extensive amounts of cloud credits. 